the only reason is because nothing else is working. So I have one morphine left to take today to be able to eat. I have this injection for tomorrow. I didn't realize they were only giving me one. And then I got a call from the MRI saying they can't do the emergency MRI until I get an ultrasound. So they asked me to get my ultrasound expedited. Which is nice. And then... Yes, yeah, so I was referred to a gynecologist. I had one in Edmonton. Horrible time. IUD was the worst thing ever. So I've been to one gynecologist here who referred me to another specialist gynecologist. And then they were supposed to refer me to the BC Women's Clinic for the endometriosis clinic. I can't talk. The Women's Pelvic Pain Clinic. And I was supposed to be on the waitlist for 10 months. So I called after 7 months, which is like just a couple weeks ago. They told me the referral was never sent. And that gynecologist's office was going to call me back. And they never have. So now I've been referred to a third gynecologist who's like a Euro bladder surgeon, whatever, because they think I might have like a prolapse, distended, whatever the fuck. And uh, so yeah, I haven't heard back from her. I've been calling. I don't know what's going on. So yeah. I've been on liquids for two weeks now. My asshole hurts right now. I didn't even fucking eat yesterday. Why is my asshole hurt right now? Make it make sense. So that's the deal. I've been calling every morning to try to get for an emergency elder though. We talked about IBS medication too because the pharmacist recommended this medication that there's like good research on for females and diarrhea. It's called Gabus. Gabus. I don't even know. But the doctor said he wants to wait until we get the pain figured out because I'm trying like the morphine and the tortle and stuff and the antacid at the same time. So we don't want. We want to be able to figure out what's working and what's not. And we can't really do that if I'm taking multiple medications. But I don't want to be on Toradol because, like you said, it's going to kill my kidneys. I don't want to be on morphine because I take Wellbutrin, which gives me double seizure risk. And it's probably going to make me constipated. Which is way worse than diarrhea. Way worse. I'm grateful I've had diarrhea for seven years because the seven years before that was both. And Lord, I'm... The GP that I saw today, because I couldn't get in with my GP, was so, so nice. I'm grateful that both these GPs have been so nice. But, um... Oh, today was the first time I was able to talk about this with the doctor and not cry. I can talk to anyone else about this shit, logically. But when I just have so much medical PTSD that when I talk to doctors about this shit, I just cry my ass out. Which doesn't help my fucking case, because then they just think I'm dramatic. <sighs> yeah, I'm happy he was nice and that I didn't fucking go into shock and cry because he said some crazy shit. <laughs> love you guys I also didn't realize I was doing some research because I couldn't figure out why like I, there was a couple days there where I wasn't even trying liquids and I was still shitting so I was like what the fuck but I looked it up and even if you don't eat any food and you're on like IV nutrition you still shit because there's like secretions from your intestines what the hell's that bullshit? There's no way to stop me shitting no matter what? As long as I have a fucking asshole? Oh my god. Like, it doesn't make sense that I have lower abdominal pain and I... Like, I couldn't eat because I had to make it to this doctor's appointment and I didn't want to be trapped on my toilet or accidentally shit my shorts in my car. That's some bullshit. I didn't fucking know that. That even if you don't eat, you still shit. <sighs> and the other issue with these... I shouldn't let my car idle. The only other issue was... I don't know what I'm talking about.
What the fuck am I gonna do Thursday? I was, I thought. Oh, here's the other problem. I take, I get the short tortel shot so that I can eat because the pain when I eat is fucking debilitating. But I just, I don't want to be in pain in the first place. So instead of getting a tortel shot, I would, I just prefer to not eat because the tortel shot only lasts six hours and the pain from eating lasts like 12 to 14 and the shot fucking hurts so i'm like why would i willingly cause myself pain just to take a painkiller and the answer is obviously because you need food to live but i am afraid of food and i don't care because the alternative is like worse oh my god it's fucking killing me i did my doctor's appointment at the dark it was nice that he lets me do that because some doctors are like, I need to turn these lights on. And I'm like, okay, well, I need to not have a headache, but like, you do you. I shouldn't even be fucking driving, frankly. Like, I'm delirious. I can't form a sentence. Making my videos lately has been so fucking difficult. I have to like refilm it 49 times because I have no idea what's going on. I've been driving slower. Anyone who knows me will think that's fucking crazy. Oh my god, hurt. But also, there's not gonna be, like, I can't really shit. I have a 20 minute drive home, but I can't really shit my pants because I haven't really eaten anything. So even if I did shit my pants, it wouldn't be a lot of shit. But also, anyone with, like, IBS, which I don't fucking believe I have, but whatever. Someone also brought up the concern of, like, what if these specialists and shit are watching my content and they're not taking me seriously because they think they view me as entertainment and not just, like, a bitch chatting with her besties, you know? Because sometimes people have a hard time distinguishing my personality from my internet personality, and obviously they're the same, but when you see me in a concentrated format like that, it's obviously fucking different. You know? Oh, I should fucking. Well, no, I shouldn't have. I was gonna say I should have took that morphine before I left, but I don't think I'm gonna. And also, I don't want to sound fucking crazy, okay? But when I took that morphine, my guts were fine. But this injection site, site still hurt like a little bit. And I looked them up and they're five milligram tablets. So maybe it's just because, obviously, why would I be able to adjust? And, wait, I have to turn here. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Like, where am I? That was in fact not true. I did not need to turn there. Oh my head, bro. And I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm back on the... I went off the green, back on the green. Um, and I'm gonna honestly try that today instead of taking the morphine because... Like, if the cramps are really severe, I'll take it. Like, if I'm crying. But I only have one morphine left, so I kind of, like, want to hold on to it for, like, worst, worst, worst case scenario. But then I'm just going to end up suffering and trying to suffer through my fucking pain so that I can save the painkiller for worse pain. What the fuck? Oh my lord Jesus. All my cuss words are around religion. And misogyny. I hate it. I need to find better cuss words. Like, motherfucker, why is that an insult? It sounds like a lot of compliment. Literally, where am I? Some girl commented on my video the other day and was like, oh my god, your hair's so beautiful and shiny. I was like, fuck. My hair looks healthy? That's not doing me any favors. People are looking at me and going, well, her hair looks fine. <laughs> my skin looks fine. What the fuck? Obviously, I'm grateful, but it's not helping my case. Because at least if they could see it, 